Welcome to Arctic Cloud. This is the third piece of the Arctic platform. We saw how we could connect the hardware and then do the same thing via a node software. And now let's see how we can connect devices to Arctic Cloud and use the cloud to control these devices. The first thing is to go to arctic.cloud. If you don't have an account, go to myarctic.cloud and set up an account. In my case, I already have one, so it's going to take me to a different page where it's asking me to connect my first device. So before we get here, let me show you the lab materials put together for this experiment. Connecting devices to Arctic Cloud. As a continuation off of the previous labs, we're going to see how we get an Arctic Cloud switch connected to Arctic Cloud via a REST API and using a WebSocket API to turn the Arctic Cloud light on and off. Fundamentally, this is what we're going to execute right now. There are also different pieces that are perhaps important for you to understand and to appreciate about Arctic Cloud. There are certain secure features that allows you to onboard these devices to Arctic Cloud and allows only you as the authorized user to get access to these devices. You have a user token, device token, and application token. I highly encourage people to read up more on arctic.io on the details about these different types of secure implementation. So if you haven't created an Arctic Cloud account, please go ahead and create one. Complete all the steps provided. And then let's connect our first device. And let's start by setting up an Arctic Cloud Lite. So I'm going to say Arctic Cloud Lite. You can name your device any name, but just make sure you remember the device associated with the device type. Now, you would have noticed that when we typed Arctic Cloud Lite, you had a wide range of selections. So what we have done in Arctic Cloud is to provide some examples for common IoT type devices. So it helps you to get going. You are free to de develop your own devices and add it to the list of Arctic Cloud known devices. So your users or your customers can also leverage from. So going back to our experiment, we created Arctic Cloud Lite. We named our new device Arctic Cloud Lite happens to be the same name for convenience, and we're connecting the device. So you will notice that your first device is created here. Let's click on it to view the device info. In this particular case, it was created on April 10th, 2017. It has a device ID and a device ID type. And let's go ahead and generate the device token. The device ID and the device token are two key parameters that are going to be used in this exercise. I highly recommend opening up Notepad and saving this. Cloud device light device ID device token and let's save these parameters here we'll be using them later we'll do the same for switch as well Add another device. Arctic Cloud 
switch and connect the device. Following the same steps, let's generate the device token first and copy these two fields over. Wonderful. So you have these two devices created. Now let's go back to the PuTTY terminal and open up the config file. You can use VI or any other editor of your liking. And what we're going to do here is to actually enter the fields for Arctic Cloud Lite ID, Arctic Cloud Lite device token, and the same thing for a switch. Starting with Lite ID. Then light device token. We would have to repeat the same steps for cloud switch as well. Be careful to follow the syntax as presented in the config file. Typically, this is where errors can happen. Wonderful. So going back to the manual, we connected the device. We created the light and switch, got the device ID and device token, updated the config file, 